Okay, members and friends. I'm going to make this one to the prosecutor. You she knows who's... Bag. I'm not talking to you. I need my bag that I brought here. I don't know where your bag is. I have lots of stuff in the store. At any rate, I got to see who this person really was. I don't know what kind of person gets up in a court of law and represents morality in terms of swear on the Bible or, you know, swear to whatever it is that you profess to believe as religion, <clears throat> to tell the tro whole truth and nothing but the truth. But yet the prosecutor who's prosecuting you prosecutes lies and fabricates stories and twists words around and uses all the resources that are available to them just so they can stamp home those lies so that they can win. They don't care about the consequences, just like when the social worker kicked my daughter out in the middle of winter. She didn't care about the consequences of what that would do to her, to her son, to her family, and to the community. She just wanted Andre. That was the only consequence of kicking my daughter out was to get the child. The prosecutor is just there to reinforce that. She doesn't care about the consequences of what the social worker has done. She doesn't care about the consequences of what her actions are creating for my family, for my grandson, and for our community. I seen that yesterday because I went to court yesterday and I, 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 was a, I, I was a witness for, a character witness for one of my daughter's friends from, you know, because we live in the same community. You can't help but meet people when you live in a community, in a district. No, I don't have anything here. Please, don't disrupt me. Sorry. Okay? Yep. Because I don't really want to do this, because I want to get off this bandwagon of ranting on YouTube, but I think this is important to keep up with the pace yeah. on top of all the other things that I'm going to be doing, which won't be much of these, because I can tell you right now, the BC Liberal government doesn't give a rat's ass about my nonprofit. They don't care about pet programs, and they sure in the hell don't care about kids programs. Because if they did, I would have these boxes done instead of making YouTube videos that people take with a grain of salt and, oh, you know, must be something wrong in my house with me, right? For a little child to be taken from a family who loves him and placed in with a, an experienced foster caregiver that has made hundreds of thousands of dollars off of children as she maltreats them so that she can make more money because they got problems. They have emotional problems. Well, yeah, they are having emotional problems because they've been ripped away from their family. They have health problems. Yeah, they do because you don't look after them properly. You know, they don't thrive. No kidding. You don't feed them right. You know, you transport them in the back of a fucking minibus underneath an exhaust pipe so that they develop asthma. And then you say, it's the law. It's the law that he's supposed to be in a car seat. Yeah, in a car seat, but not in a fucking dungeon. He's not supposed to be in a car seat in a fucking dungeon in the dark with tinted windows with uh, nail polish remover shit sitting right next to him because that's her sideline business while she's gassing the... Gas in, the, gas in the vehicle because she gets paid good money that she can afford to fucking waste gas. That's what the prosecutor is defending. The maltreatment of my grandson. The abuse of my daughter that spreads diseases in the community because the healthcare system sucks. That's what we're dealing with here. And yeah, so I go to court, you know, I know this woman young woman. I know her circumstances. I did a, a supervised visit with her when she was back in the day in 2008. She wanted to have a birthday party for her children. She had no place to have the birthday party. She needed a location. She asked me if I could have it in my apartment. I said yes. So I had you know, social workers come to my house with the babies and you know birthday party went out in the courtyard and you know and I, I took her daughter to school 
when her when her grandma when her mother was alive, her mother needed help, and I drove the daughter back and forth to school. I've helped the woman move. Okay. And over the years, I heard stories about how she got my daughter out of places where I couldn't get my daughter out of. One, because I didn't know where she was. And two, it's not like I can necessarily go into those places. Does that mean that the woman that did that at that time was an addict? No, not necessarily, because not everybody that walks into a fucking crack shack is a fucking addict. But under a prosecutor's freaking sense of reality, there's just no good people. There's just some people on this planet that just can't can't measure up to a social worker's standards or to a prosecutor's standards or to the Ministry of Children and Family Development minister's standards. You know? Well, you got supervised visits. What's wrong with you? Well, I don't know what's wrong with me. I shouldn't have supervised visits. But people like you have made it that way. So what am I supposed to do about it at this point in life? Nothing. Because you got me by my fucking balls. Right? Because you're out to destroy my family. You're out to destroy my non-profit. That's what you're out... You've been out to destroy this shit for a long fucking time. It started in 2003 with your legislation when you started to attack the women with the children and you threw them out in the streets in the middle of winter. And you didn't stop, and you're still not stopping, because you're repeating the cycle. You're after the children, you're after the little babies, and you got to throw out the families out in the fucking street. You're working on destroying my non-profit. You're working on destroying my family. You're working on destroying my grandson. That's what you represent when you stand up in court and prosecute your religion, your morality, your principles, all so that you can win. And you don't even think about the consequences of what you're doing. Because your paycheck is to win. By any means necessary. So yeah, you play dirty pool 24 fucking 7. You don't even have a moral ethic code. Because it's all about dirty pool with you. Just so you can win. You don't want to hear the truth. You don't want to see what the social workers do. And what you represent when you stand in front of a judge. And you perpetrate lies. Or you hide the truth because you bury it. Mrs. Prosecutor, you are destroying my family. You are destroying my grandson. You are destroying my daughter. You spread disease in the community. You are an enabler of drug addiction. You are an enabler of homelessness. You break children's spirits. You erode young people's self-esteem. And you sure in the hell don't care about the community. Because I can't spend no time on this. Instead, I gotta think about a lawsuit. I gotta find a way that I can go in front of a real judge. Somebody that who is unbiased and doesn't wait for the next paycheck like you based on the next kid coming through the door and the next family that you can run through the mud with your insinuendos of what shitty people we are because we actually live in the real fucking world and have to go out there and deal with our neighbors we don't live in a gated community like you where you can insulate yourself away from the realities of what goes on in the streets It's awful. It's awful. It's like a 3D fucking reality that's a science fiction horror movie. And you enjoy it. You enjoy taking that knife and just digging it in a little, little more each and every fucking time you have an opportunity. Because you got no class. Sure, you might got some little high heels on your feet, but that doesn't give you class. Huh? Well, Ooh la la. I hope it's worth it to you. Really. I hope it's fucking worth it to you. Okay, this is like not even 24 hours later. 18? I don't know. We did this last night. 18 hours. I did it at 3 o'clock in the morning. 
was that last night? When last that, night, yeah. I don't know what the hell happened to it, but it sure the hell changed. Mm-hmm. It's a live breathing organism. Okay, well, you, you need to go to the hospital, Sierra. I'm taking a shower first, okay, Mom?